Hello, I'm David Chaston, standing in for Bernard Hickey today with 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the Bank of New Zealand. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that there are some worrying signs in China as the slowdown there starts to bite harder. HSBC is reporting that Chinese PMI is likely to come in at less than 50, a level that means manufacturing output is shrinking there. This is not good news for Australia and goes a long way to explaining why the Baltic Dry Index is falling fast and why some important classes of bulk ships are very unemployed. Australian housing is also taking a bit of a beating at present. Prices are reported to be very soft in Melbourne and Sydney. Housing confidence in New Zealand is also easing slightly, according to the ASB Housing Confidence Survey out overnight. Price expectations are falling everywhere except Christchurch, it seems. But the really big and shocking news overnight is that a German sovereign bond auction failed in a spectacular fashion. Normally, German government bonds are oversubscribed by two or three times, but in this latest auction they sold only 60% of the offering to third parties. Some say they set the coupon too low at 2%. Even so, it has rattled markets. CDS spreads clearly show that German bonds no longer have safe haven status. This is seriously corrosive for the euro and the EU system, and policymakers know it. You know, polit- you know politicians are scared when French, pol- French President Sarkozy starts calling for greater integration of France with Germany, of France into a much more integrated Europe. Compounding Europe's woes, their PMI continues to point to manufacturing contraction. In fact, overnight, Nokia Siemens, a large telecom equipment manufacturer, announced they were cutting 17,000 jobs worldwide. The Dow is falling, oil prices are down, and our currency briefly went under 74 US cents this morning, although it has climbed back above the level recently. Bernard Hickey really does return tomorrow. I'm David Chaston, and that was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the Bank of New Zealand.